The sisters of the 1950s, Carol, Edna, and Hazel, you see what I'm talking about. They all get into the Western Atlantic and they all threaten the United States. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to hit directly in the United States yet. We, I can't really tell that. There may be other people that can, but we've got it in pretty darn close to the coast uh, by uh, 10, 12 days down the road. So it's something we're definitely watching. I think also, given how strong this storm is going to be and how slow it's going to move, it may be the single strongest, using that terminology, ACE index storm that we've ever seen. And that's a product of how slow it's going to move. A lot of these big Atlantic hurricanes move very, very quickly because there's a stronger ridge out in the Atlantic. In this particular case, the steering currents are not quite as strong, but they are all aiming this west for at least seven days. So in this particular storm's case, you expect it to be severe, not so much where it hits, but that oh, it yeah. will, be, it will be a monster. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the track, watch the track of the storm. It's going to be bending to the west-southwest over the next few days. And my uh, professor at Penn State, my tropical meteorology professor at Penn State, Dr. John Lee, uh, I don't know if he's watching, but he always used to say, when you, this is back in the 70s. You see, we've seen storms like this before. He said, when the track will bend to the left, in other words, if it's moving up west-northwest and it turns west to west-southwest, look for that kind of storm to become very intense and this storm seems to have the same kind of situation going. Remember when Ike developed out in the Atlantic, it did that. Andrew, Andrew was, looks like it was curving and then it turned to the right. west, became very intense after that. So it looks like it's going to do that. Joseph, thank you, I think. Good seeing you again.